Hey guys, what is up? It is Kylie here today. And today I'm gonna be doing my makeup and here in Hawaii, I'm gonna be getting ready. I'm currently on a vacation to see my boyfriend Johnny. Yeah, I have so much coming up. I just wanted to make this video, talk with you guys, do my makeup and get ready with you guys while I just talk about everything that's going on and give kind of like a life update. I haven't done like a Q and A type video in about a year. So this is a much needed video. A lot of things have changed in my life and yeah, there might be new people here. So this is an updated kind of Q and A update, exposing myself, expose my life type of video but you know so if you haven't already please like and subscribe down below you don't have to but you really should the first thing that i need to do because i need to let my hair dry while i am doing my makeup and my skincare so let's take my hair out of this towel you can't even see my hair right now because the background is black my hair is also black i'm gonna brush up my hair real quick and then put products in my hair the three products that i've been using is this quick blow by redken this stuff smells incredible it's also a uh, heat protectant for when you straighten or curl your hair or use heat on your hair i'm gonna be curling my hair so that's why i'm gonna be using this i also use this r and co don't really know what the, the title is it's a sun catchers i use it for staticky and stuff and it's a leave-in conditioner my hair gets really staticky so this helps a lot with that and then lastly the olaplex oil love this oil literally it's lasting me so long I've had this for probably a year and i'm only halfway done so. so i'm gonna brush my hair and then put all the products in real quick Okay, so I currently just did my eyebrows. I just like fixed them up a little bit. Now we're gonna do some skincare prep. Um, skincare is probably the most important step to me personally. I like to take really good care of my skin. I had acne in high school. Not a lot, but enough where I did not feel good about it. So we're gonna do that real quick. The first two products that I use are products from the dermatologist. I went there because of my acne and they gave me some products. It worked really good, I would say, so. I also laid out today, so I'm a little red, but second product going on the face. Now I'm just rubbing on my moisturizer and I use the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops. I really like these and I think that in summer when I'm tan, they don't make much of a difference. But in winter when I'm pale, they definitely make a difference. So that's my opinion on them. And then I use this La Roche. Roche, I don't really know what it's called to be honest. But I use this moisturizer. This has been the best moisturizer ever. I also use their cleanser and I really like that brand. It's worked really good for my skin. The last step in the makeup routine is sunscreen. I use super goop unseen sunscreen because I don't really like the foundation kinds. I just like normal sunscreen. And then we apply. Okay, now it is time for the fun part. I have all my makeup in this travel bag from Amazon. I really like it. It's like perfect size for the small amount of makeup that I do have. I'm gonna take everything out just that I use so that it can be a little bit more organized. Okay, so the first product that I'm gonna be using on my face is my contour. I really like contour. This is probably my favorite step, to be honest. I use the little milk stick and I use a brush and I just kind of go like this. We start dabbing it on the cheeks. Okay, so now contour is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush real quick. I also have a mirror up here, by the way. That's why, if you see me looking up there, that's what I'm looking at. I'm obsessed with a Rare Beauty blush. This is probably my favorite blush of all time. I'm gonna use some of this real quick. It's literally incredible. Ooh, this is getting light now that I am a little tan, but hopefully it works. <laughs> Oh, my, 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 oh, my
so i'm currently in hawaii right now with my boyfriend and this is my second trip of the year out here the travel day felt a lot longer than the first time i came here it's been kind of a different experience than the first time because i was in florida the week before and i was home for one day that's it and i was gone for a week then home for one day and then now i'm gone for like almost two weeks so i've been like three weeks without my family which is kind of insane like i'm a very very big family person so in that sense like i feel like a little bit homesick i wish my family was here with me and i just like miss them a lot but i am here with johnny so that makes it like 10 times better but i do miss them a little bit and i just wish they were here sometimes to like enjoy this with me okay now i'm gonna use the cream blush this is a little more of a pinky shade it is the shade cheeks out also my rare beauty blush was the shade bliss i had my birthday here with johnny which was so fun his parents are literally amazing and they set up this whole big thing for both of us because our birthdays were both in may his was a couple days actually before mine and we just celebrated them together and it was so much fun i'm putting some pink on my nose it just to look a little you know cute okay i'm gonna try to make this side a little darker i feel like this side's darker i also have benetint I don't know how much liquid's gonna work over top of other stuff, but I guess we will try and make it work. Ooh, that's a little awkward. That's really pink, holy crap. I actually had a list of topics I wanted to talk about on my phone, so I'm gonna go and look that up real quick. Yeah, so this is the longest period of time where I've been without my family as well, so that's just, it's just a whole new experience. There's a lot of growing and a lot of that type of stuff, so definitely new, definitely a little bit scary at times, but, and I'm on my own for most of the part of it, like, I mean, I have friends and my boyfriend and everything, but I am alone a little bit, so, but it's all been an adjustment, I will say. Also, traveling back to back was kind of hard. I don't, not sure if I would do that again. I've never traveled this much in a one period of time, which was interesting, but, I mean, it's been an experience it's been really fun and exciting so i probably would do it again then we're gonna go in with the highlighter you guys already know my makeup routine if you watch any of my other get ready with me so a little bit of a summer update i am gonna be in my hometown the whole summer we're gonna be boating and then actually when i get back from here a couple days after we're going to lake of the ozarks for our big lake of the ozarks annual trip i'm really excited for that i love this trip with my whole heart johnny's actually coming along with and then he's gonna be by me for i think like a week and a half to two weeks afterwards so i'm really excited for that yeah so that's kind of the plan of summer it's basically me hanging out with friends and just having a fun summer the only thing is though that me and Johnny have this trip planned, obviously, which I leave in four days. And then we also have the Ozarks and him coming by my house trip. But then after that, we have nothing planned. So, like, I don't know when we're going to see each other next. And yeah, it's just going to be, I don't know if it's going to be a long time until I see each other again. But we're going to be going back to long distance. I'm not going to lie, long distance is very, very hard. I'm not a long distance girl, but I am making it work. I always tell him that I don't really like long distance. So if we don't have to do it, like, preferably would not want to but we do live from one side of the country to the other so we have to do it until if we wanted to move into each other which that'd be way down the line but for now we are doing long distance and number one this is my first relationship ever so doing long distance for my first relationship is definitely a big big change number one a relationship in general is a big change for me i've never been in one so like i'm learning so much new stuff and then long distance on top of that is 10 times new and there's so much to learn but we're doing it okay now i think i'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow on i take like a puffy brush and just put like a light brown in my crease probably johnny's on, actually on his way over here with food i'm so excited to see him he's been at work all day me and his sister just went to the pool all day today and it was pretty fun we got a little tan and we got a little color so i'm glad about that there's the eyeshadow just a little bit darker in the crease and then normal color on the lid oh and then last thing i literally cannot forget to do this because i always do is put a little bit of highlight in the inner corner I just wanna fuck with you. And now it is just time for the lips. I'm like obsessed with lip stuff. I have about 10,000 of them. I just bought this. This is the Tarte Juicy Lip in the shade Raspberry. And not gonna lie, I've been loving this stuff. And it's a mix between like lipstick and lip gloss. I really like this. From my trust in you. So guys, now once we're done with the lips, we're done with all the makeup. I'm gonna curl my hair real quick and then I will see you guys in a little bit. 